Today, it is windy and sunny. Hints of summer are mixed with the freshness of spring. When peonies blossom in my garden each year, I gather a small harvest. As I thank God for this year's blooms, I reflected on how sweet it is to have something to partake of in spring after a long, dark, cold winter. I remembered Galatians 6 verse 9. Reading from the Amplified Version, it says, And let us not lose heart and grow weary and faint, and acting nobly and doing right. For in due time and at the appointed season, we shall reap if we do not lose loosen and relax our courage and faint. There are many days I fall short of acting nobly and doing right. I have lived seasons with a weary heart and I have come to the end of my strength more times than I can count. In my frailty, the Lord has been my shepherd and strength. He has saved, healed, and delivered me. He has been faithful and true even when I could not see through the dark, cold seasons everything he was cultivating in my life. I'm offering this prayer to the Lord today. Join with me if your heart feels it too. Father in heaven, thank you for your son Jesus who died on the cross and paid for my sin. Thank you that Jesus is the living word and through him I can know you. Thank you for your Holy Spirit that dwells within me. I turn my heart to you again today to seek your face and serve you, God. You know why I feel weary. You know where my strength ends and where I'm tempted to give up. Lord, give me courage for what is right. Lord, give me your strength, which never runs out. Give me eyes to see your kingdom is at hand. Show me where life and growth are springing up. Thank you for cultivating my heart even when I cannot feel it. Thank you for spring harvest, for spring hope. Thank you for your goodness that is unfolding around me every day. Help me to notice your presence in all things. Help me to stay with you all of my days. And Lord, please give me strength as you perfect my faith. Amen. Some of these blooms are still yet to open. They safely hold beauty and fragrance awaiting for their time to be revealed. If you're still waiting for harvest, I bless you. I'm waiting too. For anyone listening around the world, I bless you, and I'm thankful for you.